This is a video for how to go about utilizing the Cartesian coordinate system in AutoCAD. You will notice in the image on the screen the Cartesian coordinate system is an X and Y grid where when the X and the Y meet together you will have a value of 0, 0, 0 in the X direction, 0 in the Y direction. Any distances in the right will be positive, any distances up will be positive, to the left is negative, and down is negative. Within AutoCAD, to practice this, we could go to the two-point rectangle. We click on two-point rectangle, you'll see when I drag out, it's asking me where would my first corner point be. I'm going to hit zero, tab zero, and hit enter. And you'll notice it snapped the bottom left-hand corner to zero, zero. Same thing you would see on the Cartesian coordinate system axis image. As we go back, if I say, you know what, I want my next point to be five and my my you know, my distance in the x direction to be 5, and my distance in the y direction to be 5. I can just hit 5, tab, 5, and hit enter. And you will notice that it snapped right to this corner. I currently have my grid set up to be a distance of 1, so I can count over 5 squares and up 5 squares, and you can see where that was placed. If I wanted to place a circle, as I drag out, it's going to say, specify your center point of your circle. And I could say, you know, give me 10, tab, 10 and hit enter and you will notice it started right here on this corner over 10 grid spaces up 10 grid spaces now it's going to ask me for my radius if I want my radius to be 5 and kind of snap right out here I can hit 5 and hit enter excuse me hit 5 and hit enter this is following the grid for the Cartesian coordinate system you can have your grid turned off and do the same I can go back up to my two-point rectangle say 0 tab 0 for my origin and I can drag to the left and say, why don't we go a distance of 5, tab, negative 5, and hit enter. And you'll notice I went to the left 5, and the negative 5 it found, it went down. If you drag in a direction, sometimes AutoCAD will take that to be positive. I went to the left 5, and I didn't say negative, but I put negative 5 for the Y direction, and it went um, south on the Cartesian coordinate system. So if we go back again to the image, you will notice that what AutoCAD is reading is this coordinate system when we place anything to be drawn. Let's go back and just turn our grid on just for the sake of seeing things. And when we come back up, we can go to the draw command and there's all different types of things that we could also draw down through here and place, um, place points. So if we want to create multiple points, we can actually, you know, come out here and say, you know what, my first point is going to be 0 tab 0, and I'm going to hit enter. And it says specify your next point, 20 tab 20. And it's going to start placing different points on our grid. You can see that 20 tab 20 right up here. Let's do one we can see a little bit easier. Let's go uh, 9 tab 2. And you're going to see a little dot show up down here. And if we wanted to place points all over our coordinate system, we can. I'll go, let's say, uh, 15 tab 5 came over 15 up 5. This is how we go about utilizing the coordinate system in AutoCAD in order to place items that we are sketching or drawing. This will go right into the line command as well, but the line command is a little bit different in the sense that we can snap to a specific point. So I can say let's go 0 let's go 10 tab 0 and hit enter and it's going to start a snap right here. Now in another forthcoming video that I'll have, you're going to notice it's going to ask me for a distance and an angle. It doesn't ask me for the next point. It asks me for a distance and an angle. So if I said give me a distance of 10 at a 45 degree angle and I hit enter, that is the line we get. That is more of a distance and an angle slope as opposed to plotting an exact point on a coordinate system. So. This has been a video for how to go about utilizing the Cartesian coordinate system in AutoCAD through placing circles and two-point rectangles and points.